Hi everyone, this video is about crystal oscillators. So oscillators are the signal generating devices which generate signal at the frequency of interest. And uh, in most of our uh, RTOA systems, we use crystal oscillators and uh, most of the microcontrollers are having inbuilt crystal oscillators. So we will see how crystal oscillator is working, what is the configuration. So the crystal oscillators are most stable and accurate type of feedback oscillators which uses piezoelectric crystal in the feedback loop to control the frequency. Quartz is one type of crystalline substance found in nature that exhibits a property called piezoelectric effect. So quartz is used for piezoelectric effect which has, which, which has been considered as the crystal oscillator within the processes. When a change in mechanical stress is applied across the crystal to cause it to vibrate, a voltage developed at the frequency of mechanical vibration. Conversely, when an AC voltage is applied across the crystal, it vibrates at the frequency of applied voltage. The greatest vibration occurs at the crystal's natural resonant frequency determined by physical dimensions and by the way crystal is cut. The crystal's equivalent circuit is a series parallel RLC circuit and it can operate in either series resonance or parallel resonance. At the series resonant frequency, the inductive reactance is cancelled by reactance of CS. At, the free, at this frequency, the crystal offers a very low impedance to the external circuit where Z is equal to RS. So this is what the definition of crystal oscillator. But in general, if you see, crystals, crystal structure is a lattice structure. So lattice structure means a well-defined arrangement of atoms within that. So if that atom experience a vibration, it, it, ha, it, it can give a continuous effect over there. So this is what piezoelectric effect is. So the material what we are using over here is quartz, which is a crystalline substance having well-defined lattice structure in its atomic configuration. And when an, a vibration has been applied, a mechanical stress has been applied, mechanical vibrations has been developed. So a frequency has been observed, a resonant frequency, uh, it, it uh, vibrates at one particular frequency. So that has been considered as piezoelectric effect and uh, which is inducing some frequency over there. And so it has been called as crystal oscillator. This is the concept behind crystal oscillator. So this is the basic construction. First one is typically packaged with crystal. Uh, you, you can witness this in processes, microcontroller boards, in your calculators. You can see one mounted piece like this. This is the typical packaged crystal. The basic construction without ca case is a quartz wafer has been placed with between two metallic plates. So it can be named as XTAL crystal. The symbol is one bar with the two capacitive, like, like a capacitive element it is there, uh, but in the center, the vacuum or dielectric is replaced with the crystal wafers. An equivalent circuit model is parallel capacitor with RLC series capacitor. So this is what the configuration and equivalent circuit is. So parallel resonance means anti-resonance over here. Anti-resonance occurs when the reactance of the series leg equals the reactance of parallel capacitance, that is CP. At this frequency, crystal offers very high impedance to the external circuit. The parallel resonant frequency is usually at least 1 kilohertz higher than that of the series resonant frequency. So if the crystal offers high impedance means the vibration exists over there for a certain period of time. So the this is what uh, parallel resonance or it can be called as anti-resonance as, as it is having very high impedance to the external circuit. So the first one is piezoelectric crystal. They can only see the circuits diagram with a equivalent model and the circuit reactance versus frequency has been given. So inductive loading and capacitive loading has been taken. So first uh, capacitive loading is there and then inductive loading gives a certain frequency over there. So crystal oscillators has been 
<coughs> is having great advantage that it exhibits very high quality factor an oscillator that uses a crystal as a series resonant tank circuit is shown in the figure see here ce configuration with a crystal tank circuit has been used to generate signals so it is a crystal oscillator it, it is named as crystal oscillator at the parallel resonant operating frequency a crystal appears as an inductive reactance of largest value under this condition maximum voltage is developed across the capacitor the voltage across capacitor c1 is fed back to the input to carry out the feedback operation so this is what the crystal oscillator with the transistor and it has been designed using op amp also fed using fed fed crystal oscillator will be designed like this series resonant crystal oscillator using op amp also we are having crystal oscillator and this is what the configuration of oscillators are also how crystal oscillator has been used over systems electronic systems for generating signal okay thank you